I am a Rudy Poo candy ass. This might be a long candy ass video because there is a lot I want to say about him. The man here is Lorenzo Swell, the pastor at 180 Church in Detroit. This past weekend, he invited Donald Trump to his church to pander to the black voters. There's just one problem. Although we see a lot of black, a small number of black faces, they're part of the congregation, but the, but the entire church was predominantly white. The, the chanting you heard in the videos that you've probably seen all weekend, they were coming from white Trump supporters. Seriously? Lorenzo, why did you even bring this guy into your church in the first place? Is it because you're a Trump whore? Or just another idiot who thinks that he's going to do some good things for black people in this country when he has never done it? But more on that in a few moments. During that visit, Donald Trump proceeded to lie in the pulpit about things he said he did great for the African Americans and continuing his lying and haranguing and villainization of Biden and anyone who votes for him, including myself. First, he talked about the opportunity zones he had while he was president. That didn't work. And every ecologist and developer told you it wouldn't work, but you did it anyway, but whatever. Then you keep talking about the blacks who support you, senators and congressmen like Byron Donalds, who was there, who actually introduced you to the, um, the congregation there, to the people who were there. And then you have to mention Ben Carlson, the sole black man in your entire administration. The only black man in your entire administration. And he completely bombed on his job as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. He didn't do anything to help African Americans in his position. In fact, he made things 10 times worse for African Americans in his time in that position. Not to mention the fact of him supporting white supremacy by silence. But one of the biggest lies, Lorenzo, that you allowed Donald Trump to tell in your pulpit in your church is how he did more for African Americans in the history of the presidency of this country than a even Abraham Lincoln. Are you serious? You let him tell the lie that he did more for African Americans than Abraham Lincoln than any president has in the history of this country. Are you kidding me? That was the lie that broke me right there. Now, if I were in that church right then, at that point, I would have rushed the stage and told them that is a damn lie. I probably would have been arrested for it. I probably would have gone to jail for a couple of nights. But I would have gone to jail with a smile on my face if I, I could expose that lie. Donald Trump has not done a damn thing for African Americans in this country. Now, I'm just limiting it to the presidency. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. And nothing was done for African Americans for years. Everything was done to African Americans in the, in the generations that followed. The burnings, the lynchings, the murders the rapes, for generations not having true freedom in this country, all the way to President Lyndon Johnson, who after being pushed into it and prodded into it, and especially after the nightmare of Bloody Sunday in Selma, Alabama, drew up and passed the Voting Rights and Civil Rights Acts that gave Americans African Americans in this country true freedom and ended Jim Crow in this country. He passed the Voting Rights 
in civil rights acts. He laid the foundation for ending Jim Crow. You never did anything like that as President of the United States, Trump. In fact, Project 2025, which you support, regardless of how many times you want to get on Truth Social and lie about it, Project 2025 re-engages Jim Crow. It doesn't call it Jim Crow, but we can read between the lines. And it ends civil rights for minorities and the LGBTQ in this country. You've done nothing to help civil rights, Trump. And you've been alive for a very long time. You had your chance to support civil rights in this country. You never did. In fact, you were actually sued for violation of civil rights because you refused to rent to African-American tenants in your buildings. Do I need to remind you of that? Oh, actually, I just did. Whatever. But let's go to the one president that you hate the most, that all of you MAGA hate the most. Barack Obama. He gave us the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, or quote-unquote Obamacare, that you kept claiming for year after year after year after year during your, the four years of your presidency that you were going to repeal and replace, but you never did because you knew if you did, you would lose votes. And if you lost votes, you're at... Well, actually, you did, you did lose the presidency, but anyway. And of course... Joe Biden, who earmarked billions of dollars for the HBCU, Historically Black College and Universities. What did you do? And not to mention the fact that Biden has an has a African-American woman as vice president. Not to mention appointing an African-American woman on the Supreme Court which you and your sycophants in the MAGA have completely destroyed its reputation and, obviously, its integrity. And you just sit there, Lorenzo, and let Donald Trump lie at your pulpit. Again, I, if I were in that church and if I heard that lie, I would have rushed the stage and told him you are a liar and give him the facts I just gave you in this video a moment ago. I would have been arrested for it. I probably would have spent a couple of nights in jail, but I would have been a smiling, a happy man if I could call Donald Trump a liar to his face. He wants to say that he had the lowest black unemployment in the history of the United States. No, you didn't, Trump. Actually, the lowest unemployment rate for African Americans happened in 2023. You weren't the president then, asshole. Joe Biden was, and currently is. Sorry, Donald. You're not the man. You're not the rooster, boy. Then you want to say, you want to lie and say you're the greatest economy in the history of America. No, you didn't, Trump. You inherited a good economy from your predecessor, President Obama. You tanked the economy because of your idiotic ta non, um, tax breaks to the rich and the wealthy in this country. And your bungling of the COVID-19 nightmare. That was all on you, regardless of how many times that banshee, Mary Jean Taylor Greene, wants to blame him, Anthony, Dr. Anthony Fauci for it. It was all on you. Then you want to go on to criminal justice reform. You want to take all the credit for that. Not knowing that it was a bipartisan bill, Republicans and Democrats said good to it said yes to it all. All you did was sign on the dotted line and um, held up the bill like some Playboy model holding up champagne. And you want to hammer President Biden over the 94 crime bill. And about that, real quick, I get hammered on that too. 
I keep getting asked the question, you're a black man, how could you possibly vote for a person who called your people super predators and created a crime bill to destroy black people? I'm going to give you that answer right here and now. And Lorenzo, I hope you're listening, boy. Do you know what was happening in 1994? Can anyone tell me? Anyone? The crack war. That's right. The crack war. Black neighborhoods were devastated. Families were being torn apart. Kids were being killed. Congress decided to create the bill. And yes, Joe Biden aggressively pushed that bill. And truth be told, and this is a black man talking to you right now, in case you've forgotten, I would have gone with that bill too, considering everything that we were seeing. But you want, but uh, what sickens me is the MAGA wants to try to use that against Joe Biden, knowing full well that these are the same types of people, the MAGA, who celebrate every time they see a video of Derek Chauvin murdering George Floyd and claiming it was all an overdose on fentanyl or whatnot or anything else like that. Here are the facts. Donald Trump should never have been anywhere near a church. Donald Trump has never been in a church unless he can have a photographer with him to make himself look good. And Lorenzo, you actually brought this crap cake eating bastard into your church to lie and cuss about facts that takes 15 seconds to look up? You, a black man, brought someone like Donald Trump into your church knowing full well that he's a liar. And he's playing on our knowledge of not knowing anything. All he has to say is, I did this for the black man, and that's all you that's all he'll say. And you'll fall over it like a bitch in heat. But here's the thing about that. Here's the real secret uh, the real uh, secret to that. The ninety-four crime bill that they want to prominently say that that's the reason why me as an African American shouldn't vote for Joe Biden. Compare the 94 crack bill that was fighting against the war on drug, the drugs, the crack, things that were actually harming the African-American community, and compare that with a man who was sued by the federal government for racism and violation of civil rights. Compare the 94 crime bill with a man who, as President of the United States, Compare the Nazis and Ku Klux Klansmen who marched in Charlottesville, Virginia, screaming, Jews will not replace us, and actually committed murder in the name of the MAGA and Donald Trump, comparing them with those who protested that vermin. And speaking of which, Compare the 94 crime bill that tried to save American lives, Afro-American lives, to a man who calls immigrants because they're from another country or another race, vermin, and saying they are poisoning the blood of our country. The choice is simple, Lorenzo, and you obviously made that choice. You chose a man who, you, who will call you the N-word in a heartbeat. Who will take away your civil rights per Project 2025. And the screwed up part about this, you, is that you know that this is wrong. Having that monster into your church. Claiming that it's full of African Americans. For God's sakes, Kellyanne Conway went on on Twitter claiming that 8,000 black men were in that church. There weren't 8,000 black men in that church. How was barely half that? Half people in that church. There were one or two black faces in that crowd. 
but not enough to offset the majority white audience in that church. The people you, you hear in the, in the videos chanting Trump, 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 weren't black. They were white. And you, a supposed man of God, condoned this. If I were a member of that church, the next Sunday before your sermon, I would have grabbed the microphone and said, I will no longer a member of this church. You let Donald Trump use you and use this church as a political prop to push his lies. I want no part of you whatsoever. And if my church, my personal church that I go to did this, my face will never see the inside of that church ever again. I am dead serious about that. You let Donald Trump use you, man. You let Donald Trump use you, your black skin, your church. Honestly, Lorenzo, I can't call you a man of God anymore. You're no longer a man of God in my eyes. You're a Trump whore. You're a coward. And you are nothing more than a Rudy Poo candy ass. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.